five reasons that you shouldn't be a network engineer. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. Now, I talk a lot about why you should get into IT, why you should become a network engineer because there's a lot of perks. It's awesome, it's amazing. However, my wife could tell you that there are some downsides and it really, it's downsides in general, but a lot of them affect her, which is why I brought her in. So this is my wife, Abby. Say hi, Abby. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so being in IT is awesome, but it comes with some downsides. And this is kind of a lighthearted video. Of course, I think everyone should become a network engineer. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. I've even tried to convince Abby to become a network engineer. Like I've, I, I always ask her, hey, can you please like study something so we can learn together? And you don't like that, do you? No. So we'll be counting down to the number one reason why you should not become a network engineer. So let's get started. Actually, hold on, before we get started, I this is day eight in my giveaway. So ah, we're already at day eight. I'm giving away today Boson NetSim for the CCNA. Amazing labbing software. Uh, I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video and how you can enter the contest. So keep going. <laughs> you talk so much. <laughs> <laughs> she thinks I talk too much and she calls me Tandy. You, you guys ever see that show like Last Man on Earth? It's that guy, the main guy. Well, what's his name, Will something? Oh Comment below if you know his name, I, I don't remember. You know, and it, it cracked her up one day because I was, you know, on these videos I get pretty excited and someone commented on my video, I think it was like two years ago. They said, you're just like Tandy. <laughs> and she, <laughs> she lost it because she always calls me Tandy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Reason number five. Abby, what is reason number five? You never stop talking about IT, ever. <laughs> I, mean, I don't talk about it that much, right? I can't think of a time when you haven't talked about it. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll talk about, well, yeah, I do talk about it a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I, I guess I do talk about IT a lot. I think this goes for anybody in IT. When you're doing something you're really excited about, like when I learn something new, I have to go in there. Like we were, we were in Strasbourg. Remember that? And I was, um, I was working on this thing where I could deploy Cisco Unified Communications Manager, like all at once, and just let it sit there. And I walked away, and I went in there, and like I was like, Abby, guess what I did? And I explained it to her, and just nothing, nothing, nothing <laughs> at all. <laughs> so yeah, I guess the downside is that I do talk about IT a little too much, and she especially hates it. Now, what do you hate about when I get around my anybody in our family? Because a lot of my family's in IT, like my brother and my dad, you met them on this series. When you talk about IT. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, so like when we get together, my brother and I, well, that's all we talk about is, oh, Cisco this, Cisco that, what'd you, hear? what'd you think about this? And we ignore everyone. Literally five minutes ago, they were just talking about it. No, yeah, he just came over and we were just, we were just talking about it. <laughs> I think that's a huge reason for you to become a network engineer kind of flip-flopping that, because you talk about stuff you're passionate about, and it's just fun, it's exciting. Anyways, reason number two as to why you should not become a network engineer. Abby, what is that reason? You leave crap everywhere. <laughs> what do you mean? Crap. <laughs> Phones, cords. I, it's not so bad now. It was worse before. Well, because because I, I put my stuff in a data center, because yeah. if I didn't, she would have lost her mind, but how was it before? I think we have like two closets full of stuff. It was bad. <laughs> uh, and then like I, I would always have it on, right? And like you hated that. Actually, that didn't bother me. I kind of liked it. It was uh, it was warm in the closet. I was warm and, and, like, <laughs> and, you, and you liked the hum of the switches and stuff. Yeah, I got used to it. That wasn't a big deal, but. That's how you know you have a good IT spouse is when they start to love the sound of a whirring switch. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it put her to sleep. So yeah, that, I guess that would be reason number four. Was four we, we said four. So yeah, I said two, that, should, that was four, we're counting down. Scratch that. Um, but yeah, when you're in IT, you like to buy IT stuff. So I, I've accumulated over the years, just a ton of, ton of different things from desktop computers to servers, to routers and switches. And I, I don't have room for it. And what, didn't I put like phones at our last apartment? The, it was wired up with ethernet. So I had phones like in every room. That was so annoying. <laughs> and I would like call the girls in their room. I unplugged it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when she did that. All right, we're going right down this list. <laughs> so reason number- you're, you're sloshing your coffee like a lot. I, it's, I, I, I'm a practice person. I, I move like, around can, a lot. Well, can you move I'm to not the other gonna side? spill it. Reason number three, 
Abby, what is reason number three? You always study. Yeah, I am always studying. Especially, well, I mean, not so much. You did it a lot at first. It was a lot more at the beginning. Yeah, so like when I was like first starting my career and I was getting my CCNA and like, especially with CCMP, I was studying all the time. I, I felt yeah. really bad about that, but yeah. you can't, <laughs> you can't, I, mean, I can't help it. <laughs> but it paid off, it really did. Yeah, so everyone, if, you, if your spouse is giving you a hard time, it pays off from my spouse, <laughs> right here. Yeah. But I remember I, I would, um, I would take my book with me, like my official certification guide book. I would take it to special occasions. Like we go like spend 4th of July with your parents or something. And in spare moments, I would be at the table studying <laughs> or doing flashcards on my phone. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's on the downside of IT and why you shouldn't become a network engineer and really just any kind of engineer at, in IT is that you're always studying. And while you might like it and I love it, everyone else around you might hate it a lot. I hate your five minute. Pomodoro session breaks. <laughs> <laughs> she, I'm like, just trying to have a conversation with you. You're like, oh, time's up, gotta go. <laughs> if you don't know what she's talking about. So I, I, I mentioned as a study hack, you use the Pomodoro method, which means you'll do a very focused study session for 25 minutes, then you take a five minute break, and then get back into it, five minute break. So, so, I, so I know when he's standing around and doing nothing, I know he's on his break. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go talk to him. And then you know, like, done. oh, sorry, breaks up. <laughs> <laughs> or I'll be playing with the kids. Like, good talk. <laughs> I'll be playing with the kids. I'll be like swinging them around. And then my alarm goes off. Oh, okay, sorry. Your daddy's got to go. I got to go study now. <laughs> and then they're all crazy and leave me with them. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a downside. But if, if you're doing what you love, you don't mind studying for it. And you do have to do a, some studying sometimes to advance your career. So, I encourage you to study because it does pay off. Uh, but try to find some balance. I don't think I've found that yet, have I? Uh, it's you've gotten better at it. Uh, well, I'm about to study a lot for my CCMP oh, well, troubleshoots. I take that back. <laughs> so we're getting down to the the primary reason, but number two, uh, and this might be more specific to just network engineers. But Abby, what is reason number two? The internet randomly stops working. <laughs> well, you know, oh, because. I'm always tinkering with it, right? Like, I'm installing my own router, Cisco router. I might change my mind and play with PFSense one day. So, yeah. Whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, here we go. It's that time again. It is... Drop a bomb <laughs> That felt so stupid. <laughs> Just go with it, honey. Uh, so it's drop a bomble. Don't know what that is. Uh, you will win a David Bumble course, a course from David Bumble, if you are one of the first five people to enter the hashtag below. What is our hashtag today, Abby? I'll let you uh, come up with it. What's the hashtag? And while she's thinking about that, uh, the course today is Python for Network Engineers, which his course is awesome. He takes you through a bunch of the basics and, and, and really get your hands-on practical knowledge to start automating in, in, in GNS3. It's really fun. Anyways. What's our hashtag, Abby? The people are waiting! I think it's funny because you're saying it. Hashtag network engineers are losers. No. <laughs> no, we're not saying that. Oh my gosh, why did you zoom up? <laughs> hashtag networking is cool. Hey, you got it. Hashtag networking is cool. Hurry, go! So as a network engineer, um, yeah, a lot of what you do will be in a lab, and it should be when you're practicing and learning, but sometimes you wanna, you wanna do stuff in production. And when you're not doing it at work, you wanna do it at your house. You wanna get real public internet connections. So yeah, I, I've taken the internet down quite often, messing with stuff, or especially when you're first learning. When I was first learning, I would bring the internet down for a while, right? Hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and then there was that time in Paris, our first night there, when you completely <laughs> blew the electric outlet Every, I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> so <laughs> so we, we just got back from like a three month European excursion kind of thing. And uh, I brought my lab with me. And you know, of course my lab is all American plugs. And I had to no, bring- we, it was our first day there. I wasn't getting back. Oh yeah, it was our first day there in Paris. And I was, I was uh, installing my lab with my Cisco router and everything. And like, I think one of the adapters I had like was messed up. So it shorted the entire apartment and I didn't know how to fix it. Cause it's like an old apartment in Paris. I had no idea. In our so first night, we had no electricity. <laughs> because of my dumb lab. <laughs> oh my 
Remember that time we were at my parents and um, so I'm always trying to get my family to get like a, a DMVPN connection with me. So I've got Cameron, which he, he loves it. I got him. Uh, we got a DMVPN connection between our houses, but I tried to get my parents and my, my dad. He's not a network guy, so he doesn't care, but I really wanted to have that. So, <laughs> so I started messing with their stuff and um, it turns out I didn't know this. They had a DSL connection that needed uh, uh, PPPoE authentication. And it was a freaking nightmare and I couldn't get it to work. And I ended up getting on the phone with this like podunk uh, ISP and they couldn't figure it out. And I, <laughs> we were trying to leave and I was sitting there trying to fix his internet for like what, three hours. So yeah, we're tinkerers, right? We love internet stuff, but sometimes we end up breaking things. <laughs> most of the time. It's not most of the time. Okay, so reason number one, the absolute worst reason, and I know you hate this more than anything. What is it? It's maintenance weekends, <laughs> or yes, the whole weekend, because it takes the whole weekend. <laughs> so what she's talking about is when you're in IT, um, sometimes when you have to do work on your production network, you have to do a maintenance window. So that involves like a maintenance weekend where you're like, okay, we're going to the data center at night. We're going to... Um... I, I Probably nine times out of 10, he said, it's just gonna take me a couple hours. And then... <laughs> 6 a.m. He's still not home. Oh my gosh, that's happened like I don't think it's happened I don't think I've ever been on time one time mm -mm. Have you guys ever experienced that like if you're a network engineer already? Let me know how your maintenance windows have gone because I've never had one where my time frame was, was exactly what I said So when you say <laughs> two hours add like eight to that <laughs> So so like a maintenance window again, we're we're going there. We might be installing a new router um, Might be making like a huge configuration change I, well, sometimes, you know, it, it doesn't work. <laughs> I think a lot of the times it doesn't work. And it's it's not because we didn't do it right. It's just that there were things that we didn't anticipate. Things that we, if we, we didn't know if we changed this one command, it'll break everything else. That happens quite often. <laughs> or like I'm doing a server upgrade or something. So yeah, I'll, I'll go to the, the data center. I'm like oh, I'll, I'll, I'll leave and say, honey, I'll be back like in two hours tops. It's gonna be real quick, real easy. And oh my gosh. But that every... hasn't been for a while because Oh yeah, I've been working from home. Yeah. But I, I do go to my data center sometimes, right? And it does take me a, a lot longer than it than I say. Well, yeah. <laughs> and that and it's not just like maintenance windows either. It's not just like overnight stuff. It's really anything I, I want to do. Yeah. But so if I like come in my office, my studio here, and I'm like configuring something or playing with something, it I'm in here for hours when I say I'll just be right back. <laughs> So I guess we could sum that reason up to everything in IT always takes a bit longer than we actually say, always. And it and when you look at maintenance windows, yeah. So like I, I know it like ruined our weekend sometimes. Like I'd say, okay, it's gonna be a two hour window, no big deal. And I'd still be doing it at 6 a.m. the next day. I'm exhausted and I get home, you know, I just, I have to sleep the entire weekend. Ugh. Yeah, that <laughs> so, sucks. That was the worst. Okay, so we just went through a bunch of reasons why you should not become a network engineer because it, it does take a toll on your life and the, and the life of your loved ones. But there, there's a lot of upsides too. And I've talked about that a lot in my channel, but I want to see what my wife Abby thinks. So what's one thing or one reason you think it's great that I'm in IT? Uh, one reason, because... You make good money, and I don't have to work. Pretty good reason. <laughs> you can make a lot of money in IT. You can. If you work hard, if you study hard, which we went through all the reasons why. That's, that's some of the downsides is you do have to put in the work. You have to study hard and work hard and annoy the crap out of your family with all your excitement. Well, I would say it's worth it. It's worth it, yeah. I think so too. I'm glad you think so. <laughs> Look who it is! Hey. It's Network Cameron. <laughs> Have we got your name yet? What's your name? I don't know what my name is yet. Well, I think it's an excellent chance for us to ask the audience. What do you think Cameron's name should be? Yeah, where should I be? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Cameron, I wanted to just grab, he was playing with the kids in the other room. Yes. I wanted to bring you in here because we're talking about the five reasons that um, you should not become a network engineer. We went through a couple of reasons, but just off the top of your head, what can you think of if someone were thinking about getting into network engineering, what would kind of be a bad reason not to, or something that would deter them? Uh, I've been told a lot that within the next 10 years, it could be going away. Well, that's that, scary. That, that'd be, that, <laughs> that, that, that's that, a real stuff. This is supposed to be a lighthearted video. <laughs> that would be the one big thing for me that it's one that unless you adapt, it's not going to be here forever. But as long as you learn, you're fine, right? No, I'm going to rebut that real quick. It's true, but it's always been changing. So as long as you keep learning, you will be fine. That's what I just said. Oh. 
I don't listen. That's the other thing I don't do is I don't listen. All right, thanks for stopping by, Cameron. Say, yep. say bye, Cameron. Bye. <laughs> If you haven't already, you better subscribe and hit the little bell. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you heard her. You have to do what she says. Because I do. Oh, and real quick, remember I am giving away some Boson NetSim lab software for the CCNA. So if you're working on your CCNA right now or you're thinking about it, which if you don't have your CCNA, you should be thinking about it. Uh, this is an amazing lab software. It's got pre-built labs. Uh, it'll grade your labs and tell you what you did wrong and why you did it wrong. It's such an asset to you if you are studying for the CCNA. That's so, so, so cool. Can I, can I enter? <laughs> Shut up, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to razz me. Look at that. So anyways, if you want to win this lab software, enter the contest below at the link below. <laughs> and thank you. No, it's not up there. It's not up there. <laughs> and thank you to Boson for offering that up. It's really cool they're doing this. Is that what you're giving away today? Yeah. All right, anyways, guys, that is about it. Uh, thank you, my lovely wife, for being on the channel and gracing us with your presence. You're welcome. Your, and your How much beauty. do you pay for this? You get paid all my money. <laughs> Can I get another rug? <laughs> Catch you later. No, that was so lame. Don't put that in. No, that's good. No, honey. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. You're getting your hand on the lens. No, I did this. <laughs>